All right, let's see, uh, see what we can get out of this. And... Wow. So we just had a windstorm here, and as you can see, the greenhouse lost a couple of panels. Uh, we got it right down here, so I'll be uh, reinstalling that very soon. But I wanted to go ahead and uh, run you guys through the greenhouse here. Okay, so the season's come to an end, and as you can see, I still have more tomatoes than I know what to do with. Uh, we're, we don't can or anything yet, so uh, these are pretty much just going to waste. It's too bad because you know we come in and we use them whenever we can, and we still have so many. So uh, I definitely overdid it on tomatoes this season, this, uh, season and I'm gonna try a different technique and not as dense next season. So we'll see if we can get a, an even better yield next go around. So the floating raft uh, is completely died off. This is all my uh, basil has gone to seed. I still need to collect all that. I, I gathered probably more lettuce seed out of this stuff than I'll ever use. So I need to just remo remove all this stuff and uh, get some uh, some lettuce going, especially since it's the uh, perfect time of year to do that right now. So uh, we'll be uh, doing that too. As you might be able to tell, that is our external bell siphon. It is covered up by the tomato vines. And this is actually not in, not in service right now because we had problems with our sump tank. Uh, the erosion down there caused the sump tank to leak which caused all of our water to leak out in the system. So uh, we just had to put a little quick fix up uh, with a two by four against this, um, against the, uh, the floating raft here to fix the sump. But uh, we had to improvise and we decided to go with a external U siphon. And this, uh, this method to empty the beds actually worked out a lot, a lot better than I, I had expected. So I think I'm gonna put a little more effort into the, these designs uh, for our upcoming system that we're gonna be launching here, uh, hopefully uh, in the next couple of months. All right, so these are the blue tilapia. They are doing pretty well. Um, I moved one of the big ones from the greenhouse system into this tank just to see how they would interact. There he is right there. Um, but uh, he seems to be doing fine and everybody seems to be doing all right in here. Uh, the water quality has actually uh, stayed pretty um, consistent since we got this filter on and I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick overview of what, what we've been working on to try to eliminate uh, the solids in the, uh, the water here. Okay, so this is the drain. Uh, this picks the solids up from the bottom of the tank. Uh, what I do is I use the fish to kind of uh, just stir the tank a little bit. I'll just give them a little uh, one of these and they seem to move around pretty good and stir up the bottom. So uh, all the solids are picked up from the bottom of the tank and I travel through this tube and over to our uh, swirl filter, swirl filter uh, that we have installed right here. All right, so the solids are pushed out of it or are brought up from the bottom of the tank, the fish tank, and uh, ejected down into the hopper here. As you can see, there's a pretty good amount of fish waste uh, moving through the system. Uh, but the relatively clean water is uh, uh, swirls uh, to the center of the uh, swirl filter and moves down this pipe. Now this has been redesigned uh, so it slows down this pipe uh, into the sand filter that we have designed and I've taken the top off because it was just giving me too much back pressure. I don't know how well you can see the sand in there but you know so the clean water will move up and spill over the sides and then is uh, pumped back into the fish tank by this three quarter inch pipe and this is just to keep uh, the water flowing and uh, to eliminate any potential uh, vacuum to have the uh, the fish tank water drain back into my sump tank through the pump. So as you can see the swirl filter collects all the fish waste down at the bottom of the hopper and when I'm ready to collect I, it comes travels down this tube through this 90 and over to a valve and what I do is I just collect the uh, the solids and as you can see this is kind of uh, what, what we come up with so it's uh, it's you know fish waste plant fertilizer so this is uh, I get about this much every week so uh, that seems to work out pretty good so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to check out our website at hdaquaponics.com uh, you can get links to our Facebook fan page our YouTube channel and you can follow me on tw uh, Twitter at HD aquaponics uh, we're gonna be updating you guys uh, uh, during the off season here uh, with a new system uh, 
hopefully within the next couple of months. So uh, we're going to be doing a lot of inside work during this uh, off season, but we are going to get the lettuce going in the floating raft. And, but that's a whole other video. So uh, thanks for watching.